Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be making a simple traffic light system using the Pi Pico. Okay, so for this project we're going to need three LEDs, one green, one yellow, one red, three resistors, they're at 330 ohms, one wire, a breadboard, and your Pi Pico with the headers on. Plug the Pi Pico in first, and looking at the diagram we can see which pin outs we're going to use. I'm going to use uh, pin 1, so that's GPIO 0, uh, pin 4, which is GPIO 2, and pin 7, which is GPIO 5. Uh, we're going to put the positive side onto the pin side. This is because we're going to set it high when we want it on. Next we need to put the resistors on the other side connecting it to the ground line. The resistors are to stop it from drawing too much current since they're LEDs. So we just put those on there. Like so. And then we need to connect the ground line back to the ground of the Pi. The third one on the side here, so this pin. This is the circuit done now. You'll see the circuit diagram on the screen. Plug the Pi Pico in, and we want to start programming. So you open a Thony display, and what we're going to do is import time, machine, and time. So let's import machine, import U time. So it's like the lightweight version of time. Next, we need to define what the LEDs are. So we're going to define red LED. So that's deferrable. And that equals machine dot pin brackets zero comma machine dot pin and then out since it's an output we want to do the same for yellow and red so we'll just copy this make it easier for yellow and green I mean and they're going to be on pin two five yellow and green since we want this script to run constantly, we're going to have a while loop. So while true. And then we need to define the order. So it starts with generally uh, the red LED first. So red, it's got LED dot value, set that to one. So the red LED turns on once. We wait using new time dot sleep. We wait for two seconds. Then generally we have the red and orange on. Since the red is already on, we don't need to turn it on again. So now we'll have the yellow light on. And we'll wait. We turn to sleep, we'll wait one second now. So it'll be on red and yellow and red for one second. Then we want to turn them off. So we put red LED dot value and we set it to zero. The yellow, we set this one to zero. And we set the green to one. Then we're going to wait another time. So it will be on green for two seconds. And then we need to turn the green off. It's green dot value equals zero. Then generally you have the yellow next as it goes into red. So we'll put yellow 
dot value Um, I just noticed I've misspelled this. It's actually yellow LED, green LED. So let's just update that. And then yellow turns on, and we'll wait one second for this before going back into red. And then we need to set yellow off. Yellow underscore. So I'm just going to split this up so it's a bit easier to read. So the first thing we do is turn the red light on. Then we turn the yellow light on. Then we turn the lights off. We turn the green light on. Then we turn the green light off. Turn the yellow one on. And then we turn the yellow one off. And it goes back to red turns on. So we want to save this. Oh, make sure you're on PyPico. Here we are. And we go to Raspberry Pico and save it as main.py. Don't forget to have the extension. Click OK and we'll press run. Oh, spelled machine wrong somewhere. There we go. And there we go. So the red is a bit dim, unfortunately. This is just because of how the light is, so I'll hold it a bit higher. So it goes red, red, yellow, green, yellow, red. And just keeps repeating. So as a quick tutorial, I hope that's really helpful and you should be able to get your own LEDs and start using the external pins now. So I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you did, you'll like my other videos on my YouTube channel here. And if you got started using the Thony IDE, you can check out the video here, which helps you get started with that. Uh, there's more to come, so look forward to that. And if you check out my Instagram, you can message me through there, or you'll see sneak peeks coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.